Hey guys, it's Troy here, and we are going to be playing six new custom tracks added to CTGP earlier this week. This is like the fourth or fifth month in a row. We've had a CTGP update, which is so exciting because, I mean, these tracks are awesome, and we're getting them way more frequently than in the past. Mr. Bean has like a new method for updating custom tracks. He's able to do it in a much more efficient manner, from what I've been told, and... I mean, it's, it's great for all of us because the custom track creators, we're getting to see their creations much faster than ever before into CTGP. You don't have to wait very long for these new tracks to come out and uh, it's a great thing for the community. So I'm so excited. This first track here, Luigi's Island, I remember playing back in like 2011. It was actually in like one of the original CTGP track, track updates. It might have been in the very first one, honestly. Maybe not even the second one. I just remember playing this when it, it looked nothing like this. This is a great remake. I remember when it was like, oh man, I can't even describe it. It was just some grass, some light colored dirt, some gray walls, and a couple boost panels. And that was, <laughs> oh, I survived. Oh my God, I'm gonna go for that mushroom. Oh, <laughs> what a weird sequence. We're living, we're living. Oh my gosh, had to stop my commentary for a moment there because that was just such a hectic situation. Nice little shortcut. It's cool because you can use the boost panels to take these little mini shortcuts. And that's how the old version of Luigi's Island was. Very similar layout, but completely unique scenery. And that is a terrible spot to get blue shelled. I'm gonna... Oh, okay, you know what? That kind of helps me. I'm closer to the sidewalk. <laughs> it's gonna be a little easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it actually helped me, but it did help a little bit. How often have I ever said that? Getting combo didn't help me. That is rare. Well, this race is almost over, and things really went downhill for me. But it's not over till it's over. Let's go, let's go. Oh, hey, okay, we're back in it. We're back in it for sure now. Go, go, go! And there's a bullet! Fourth, I'll take fourth. After that blue shell and that combo, fourth is good with me. All right, next track. Oh yeah, also, I'm going to be giving away three pocket shirts. Just comment below your Instagram name and follow me on Instagram. Tomorrow on my story, I will announce three winners. That's all you have to do to enter. And the pocket shirts, the Funky Kong and Daisy ones are going away for good. So this is your last chance to get them. They're gonna be gone in two days and I'll, I'll announce the giveaway, like I said, tomorrow morning. So if you want a chance to get those, last chance. Next up, we got Windmill Village. This track's been in CTGP for quite some time. And this update actually is pretty nice. They changed some of the trick ramps to function better. Like this one coming up right here. Oh, give me that, give me that, nice. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> but yeah, that's a flip trick now, which is so much nicer. And at the end, they revamped it to make the off-road shortcut more prominent. And I'm totally cool with that because I kind of felt like the off-road shortcut was a little underwhelming prior to this update. It looks, oh, I'm gonna see if I can do it with one mushroom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to cut half of it off like that. Yeah, because it's, it's a bigger off-road cut now. You need two mushrooms if you want to cut all of it. Got him. <laughs> hey, sometimes the fibs in plain sight really work out as long as you get them at the right moment when the racers are right next to you. Because that's when they least expect it. You just drop it right in their face. Low trick action. I'm gonna go straight this time instead of to the right. Lay one here. And we're doing well right now. Ooh, mushroom, okay. No, no, what? Wow, I got trolled. That was some item range shenanigans right there. That happens in item range sometimes where the items disappear because there's so many in play, but happening in a regular race, odd. I'm paying the price right now. I'm paying the price for getting rid of that banana. The good news is it's only lap two. Wow, he stole my box. Oh, now I'm really screwed. I'm really screwed. Um, next set is gonna be very important. This track gives great races though. I always enjoy Windmill Village. Here we go, and my race is looking grim now. At least we're in front of an item set. If we pull a golden mushroom here. Nope. 
Here we go. Dang, that was a rough one. I, you know, I'm actually okay with sixth place. I thought it was going to be much worse. At least there was some chaos at the end. So I was able to pass a couple people. A star was not ideal. I was hoping for a golden or the bullet bill. But the bullet, I don't think I could have even got it in that position. I think I was in like eighth or something. But not the best start to the room. We got four more races though. And I'm excited to show you guys these next couple courses. Toad's Turnpike. Oh, baby. So this is the Mario Kart 8 version. It's going to have wider roads. The item boxes are on the side as per usual. And it's just got a better color palette going for it. So I'm excited. And I know it has a downhill slope section, just like the Mario Kart 8 track right here. I'm going to go for a box. But otherwise, it doesn't have all the Mario Kart 8 features. There's no anti-gravity. Ouch. And there also are no cars with the ramps on the back of them. And those were super cool. I always enjoyed going off those and <laughs> gliding up top, avoiding the cars altogether. That was nice. So the track is simplified, but it looks prettier. And, uh, you know, sometimes uh, that can uh, help the overall feel of a track. I think it has a little more room as well between the cars where the lanes are. I think it's a little wider. Wow. That guy's failure really screwed me up. Okay, so I'm bagging. I'm trying to get the shock. Because I'm in last right now. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Gotta play really safe here. Nice, nice. Maybe that red will connect. Nope. Let's see what I get here. Go, go, go. That is so unlucky. No. And I'm not gonna get the box. Dang, Toad's Turnpike is as crazy as ever. Nice, I will take third. Honestly, I released my main turbo at the right time. I was able to get big, so I got a full boost instead of the boost when I was small. Executed the wheelie, dodged the pal, and uh, pulled off a clutch third. So we have another remake, Desert Castle Raceway. Has some different textures, and the ending of the course is completely changed. It's still two laps, which is important to note, but I think it's a pretty good update because the ending was a little wonky and they fixed it pretty well. You guys will see it in the second half. Dang, I'm not going to be able to get a draft, but I am getting a box, which is good. Oh, I was trying to make the red hit the wall. Unfortunate. It's okay though, long track. There's also a shortcut coming up, so maybe I can take advantage of that inside the uh, the tomb, or the temple, I should say. I don't know what it is. Golden Mushroom is perfect. I'm just gonna use it here, because I don't want to get starred. Nice. Back in the race. And now it's going to look a lot different for those of you who know Desert Castle Raceway. Like right here it starts to change completely. Okay. I need to get my triple greens out. Nice. Okay, that's the end of lap one, and I love it. I love this course. I think that uh, they improved it a lot. Am I gonna get that red shell? Nice, we're in second. Great spot to be, maybe I can get a mushroom. Okay, ooh, player in first had a mushroom. That's really good for us, because they would've been dodging the blue shell. And instead, uh, we got a little boost. Separate us from third, which is important. 
And this room has been pretty crazy so far. Okay, long straight away. And we have a mushroom. Oh no. That sucks. <laughs> oh, but a blue shell. This is good, this is good. We just gotta hope for not another blue shell now. Because we're not getting a mushroom anymore, unfortunately. We know that. We're going this way. Avoid the fire snakes. So far, so good. I'm gonna lay this inside right here. And we're going around. We do not have a mushroom for the shortcut on the left. We might get past right here. Nope, we're good, we're good. Oh, release that mutual just in time. I almost hit the wall. That could have been really bad. Perfect fib spot. I got to see it connect right as I looked backwards. That was cool. Okay. Still kind of learning the lines, you can tell. A little bit sketchy. And there's a shortcut right there. You can do a ramp trick and cut the corner but come on come on come on no dude are you serious oh my god dude that's the second race now i got blue shelled on lap three brutal i was so close to surviving that and getting second but uh this is not my gp all right, we have two more races. We have one brand new track and another remake. We're going to do the remake first and save the brand new one for last because it's a pretty cool track. I think I should just stay out of first place. <laughs> first place is not the place to be in this room, I'll tell you that much. It's been a brutal, brutal GP for me, but let's try to finish strong. I'm actually pretty happy with my racing on these new tracks, but that's Mario Kart for you, man. 150cc, <laughs> it's a very item-based game. There's a little bit of lag. Hey man, it's not Mario Kart with a little without a little bit of lag. So, Sadek's Twinkle Circuit is still one of the longest courses. You can tell it's three laps, and just look how long this mini map is. We're we're 38 seconds into the lap. We're like maybe halfway through it. It's over a three minute course. On top of that, I think that they retextured it. It looks like it feels it feels like it's a smoother track, honestly, and. They did do some layout adjustments. I think it's interesting. Can I connect that snipe? Ah, oh, close, close, close. But I think it's interesting how they have the triple cannon. Because, let's be honest, I had to make sure he didn't draft me, so I was like, <laughs> need to stop commentating for a moment. Ooh, nice snipe. Does he want to pass me? Sure. Well, I got him, but I got squished. Oh, I almost got that. Dang, I cannot wall red dodge today. I'm trying, it's not working out. So, bad sequence and now I'm in ninth. Oh man, I was hoping for a star. Whenever I do that strategy, I'm hoping for an item I could spam so I can get another item so I can double up. So when I pull a golden, I'm pretty bummed. No box. I'm hoping for more blue shells. That's what I really need. And that's a great pull. Timing is going to be everything for this Mega Mushroom. Maybe last place? Yes! I got it. I was like, maybe last place as he's hitting the last boxes, we'll, uh, we'll use it. And he did. Good thing I held that Mega Mushroom a little bit. Otherwise, that would not have paid off for me. It would not have worked. Okay, so I think the POW ruined him. Because my red did not connect, otherwise Funky Kong would have cheered. But I'm finally in a good position after, like, five races of, of just, uh... 
It's, it's just been chaos. Like, that's the word I would describe for this GP. It has been such a chaotic GP, but hey, I can't complain because the tracks are giving good races. And that's one of the most important parts about custom tracks is sometimes they overscale them and they give uneventful races, but another lap three blue shell. <laughs> That's a uh, a laugh of pain. <laughs> this is not my GP. So unlucky. And now I'm getting redded when I pull a mushroom. No, we're good. Nope. <laughs> this is so bad. I need to make sure I don't get hit by that green. The problem is I'm gonna get small. Before yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I am so mad at this GP. Can I just have one good race? Jesus. Jesus. Alright. I feel absolutely hopeless because I'm playing so well, yet I just keep getting screwed and getting bottom spots because of these horrific lap 3 blue shells over and over and over. But, that being said, we have an amazing track here. I don't even remember the name of it, like Stargaze Summit or something, and it replaced Snowy Circuit, which was a track that I was not too fond of in CTGP, so I'm very happy about that. And I think this one is really fun. I've played it once so far. I love the uh, smooth road, and it has some nice scenery. It's not too long, too. It does have a pretty big shortcut that I'm going to try to utilize on lap 2 if I can pull mushrooms. And uh, gotta love the snowflake in the middle of the item box. Nice little touch, for sure. Yeah, so I definitely have to use this here. If you pull a Mega Mushroom after a shock, like right after like I just did, it's practically like half dodging the shock, which is cool. Yeah, see there's the shortcut I was talking about. Ooh, I do not like that. I do not know why they made the off-road the same color as the uh, ice right there. They should make that two different colors. That's a no-brainer. Uh, color is very important for distinguishing uh, terrain types on tracks. Always make your terrain types distinguishable, co distinguishable colors if you're a custom track creator because it makes it easier for the people playing the game to distinguish it so they don't make a mistake that <laughs> they don't think they're going to make. Makes it easier for everybody. More enjoyable experience. Okay, and I'm getting fib, ninja fib. Still got one more lap, but I'm in the back. And I got a horrible item. Yeah, that was the worst item I could have gotten in 10th. Okay, I'm gonna spam this. Dude, this is crazy. I can't get a box. Oh my gosh, dude. That was so crazy. I'm lucky to have gotten third. I'm honestly lucky. What a hectic GP. But yeah, overall, as per usual, great update. CTGP just keeps getting better and better every single month. Comment below what your favorite track was, and I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy Funky Kong dancing, and peace.